one. Hey, Mark. Hey, Chad. Hey, just to your left, grab this real quick. I'm going to toss it to you. Close enough. <laughs> Go ahead and grab it. What up, posse? I uh, how's it going? This is Brandon. That's Mark. I'm Chad. Go ahead. It's right there by the by the by the entrance of the studio. <laughs> that works so well. I want to start out with this because I know you guys got a bunch of stuff in there that's DC. Oh, I'm not hating is... on it yet, but I'm indirectly hating on it by actually starting and taking this. So I want to just start by saying this. Funny thing about taking things. You can't give them back. Well, you can. I'm taking this. You're not. But <laughs> with that. I, I want to just say that uh, shout out to the Connery family because Sean Connery passed away, obviously, in the last couple of weeks. So I've been on a Sean Connery kick, and I bought that today. I bought the Criterion, awesome movie. Criterion Collection of Time Bandits. Mark, go ahead and open that up. Um, but what I want to do is give me the front camera, please, Brandon. This is Outland. This was a movie that was made in 1981. Okay, This is an amazing movie that, have, that has... People that were involved in Star Wars, uh, Blade Runner, music score is amazing. Now, I try. I watched this last night, and I tagged. I tried to tag this on Facebook, and unfortunately, there is no watching this movie because nobody has it actively on Facebook. And this is an amazing, amazing movie. There's Time Bandits. So, yeah, and he was in there as well. Sean Connery. Sean the Man Connery. But I was going to say... Oh, it's I, a double disker. Yeah, it's... Well, it's Criterion, so they're always going to do some pretty cool stuff. But Outland, to me, is probably one of the biggest sleeper movies ever. It's basically way ahead of its time with being meth in space, and it's in a mining plant, and that's all I'm going to give because he is a badass in this movie, and I really encourage everybody to watch it. Is this post-Highlander? No, this is 1981, buddy. This is oh, okay. before... Uh, this was, what was really active about this time? Everybody was trying to do a Blade Runner, I think, at this point, or at least, actually, I take that back. Everybody was trying to do Star Wars at this time. Mm -hmm. Um, so this was kind of a real, I I just, I'm going to say, we're either going to watch it all together or I'm going to buy you a copy of this. You were watching that when I got here. Yeah, you and I watched a little bit of it when I was on the Stairmaster. That's true. Go ahead and flip it to him, B. Does it come with a poster? It comes with the map. Oh, I'm framing that, yo. Yeah, definitely. Totally framing that. That is so sweet. Wow. What's on the other side? Anything? Is it like, mm. like it's just a bunch of words. <laughs> some clocks and some oh, words. Oh, it's like a thanks. Like I a, see a bunch of circles around the top. That's all those clocks telling you what time it is. Yes. Special so, thanks. I just wanted to say this because I, I I can't say this enough how good uh, Outland is and how many good people Peter Boyle's in it and how dark it is and the sets and everything were done by the people from Star Wars so it's just Kinda cool too. It's a great movie. I mean, Mark, you thought it was cool, a little grainy, but just I it was cool. never. It just keeps <laughs> giving you, on it. Keeps giving you more and more. This Brandon, DVD have you seen here. Time Bandits? No. You remember never this maze part? Seen Time Bandits? Oh, that was sweet. No. Oh, was dude. that Terry Gar? That's Terry Gilliam. No, but the mom. I don't know. It was not. Um, and remember, it was like the. Oh God, I forget that actor's name, but he's been in a ton of stuff. Remember yeah, that, that played like that the guy parents? that, was that in one a guy that yeah. played the, the parents. The, I don't know, dude. I, you just opened it. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Oh. Honestly, I'm really excited to watch that. Um, okay, fine. I got my time. You guys play your stupid DC stuff. He, he banded it our time. <laughs> I did. I, I'm sorry, but do your DC thing. I'll, I'll watch. You get to see Chad on the side in disgust as we talk about DC. But at least I think Mark has one of your favorite guys, at least. Who? Who? Who's that? Is that Bizarro? No. No. Who's that? Superman with Joker Venom in him. Okay. So, I've been staying away from the McFarlane stuff because mm-hmm. I, I just don't like the scale. It's like seven inches, but I really want this build a figure. So, like when I walked in and found all four of these figures in one place at one time, this dude here. That's pretty cool artwork. Who's the build a figure? 
Men Merciless? It's one of the alternate universe Batman. Oh. This, they actually have... This is the variant one, but they have regular ones where it's like oh his face God. isn't so... Yeah, I've seen people posting like, oh, I have to get all three versions yeah, of the face. Yeah, because there's like three of them. <laughs> sort of yeah. reminds me of Mask of the Phantasm. But look, there's four of them on the back, so maybe one dies. Oh. No, one. I think one becomes King Robin. <laughs> That's the new DC comic thing that they're doing now before they reset the whole... DC Universe for the I mean, hundredth that's, time. They need to. That's I know pretty they need good. to. But that's pretty. That's a pretty. Sick with like figure. two, like with three back to back, not very good. It just reminds me a little bit of Mask of the Phantasm. Yeah. I just watched that the other day. That's a great animated movie. It is. And that is the uh, Death Metal Batman. Yep. So he comes with two axes, which I I think are his, not the build a figure. The thing is, it's like this is like the four hundredth Batman that McFarlane's made in the last three years, two years. Yeah. So it's like ho oh, hum. I'm not really excited about this line, but I I am a big build a figure nut. I'm kind of glad I waited and didn't didn't buy the initial one of this. Who is that? The Batman who laughs. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you bought that. Yeah, but like I said, I bought it just for the build a figure. You can hear the disgust in his voice. <laughs> you bought that? The, yeah, look at the sword that the build a figure dude's got. Merciless. Uh, reminds me of Thanos. He, this? He's supposed to be like uh what's his name? He Ares. reminds he reminds yeah, he reminds me of Ares. Like let's see if we can get a good picture of his. I think helmet. it was the Wonder Woman uh version. Oh, of I see it now, okay. Because they did like everyone, they have like one where what if Bruce Wayne found the... Did he break his neck? Does he have one of those spine, those braces on his head? Is that what that he is? He reminds me of Conan. Not the Joker guy, but the Build-A-Figure guy. Remember in Conan, they had the guys with like the kind of wicked Viking helmets? Yes. Yes, so I do. So that's what that kind of reminds me of. Okay, I get that. But yeah, so that was some stuff. I, I was out hunting. <laughs> Obviously, I was out was hunting for stuff. stuff. And, you know, I wanted to get... Uh, I was looking for actually the Marvel Legends Frogman and the Red Ninjas, but I haven't seen any of those. Actually, yeah. I saw a guy with them, one Frogman yesterday, a new guy that I introduced myself to, and was like, you should join the Minnesota Toy Posse, and he's like, done. Nice. Cool. All right, what else you got? Uh, now we're moving into the world of wrestling as usual. Woo! This I have is a re-release, or not a re-release, but they had these Japanese figures uh, that's a pin and it was yeah but this is it was a pin of the figures oh. and they're soft vinyl and they were you know they have one of Hulk Hogan when he started out they have one of like the Funks um, but they never made it they never finished series 2 I think and I did the interview with the man who made it this one uh, Adam aka Junk Shop Dog uh, he's a huge Japanese toy and wrestling fan so he he remade these but if you try to buy a regular one on eBay a loose beat up one's like 700 bucks really? yeah Oh, nothing on the back. But, nothing on the back. Uh, but that I, I thought that was cool because that's the closest I'm going to get to owning one because like, I don't have seven hundred to like a couple thousand dollars to <laughs> to spend. You know on. what's going for seven hundred dollars is that Johnny Moxley figure that they released that's numbered to five hundred. Oh yeah, Mark, it's, put that down. What this? Yes, Sorry. that crumpling Sorry. driving me nuts over here <laughs> with that. Right. Here, look, fix it. There Thank you. Uh, the next next thing I have are. Uh, the New Day. So they've come out. This is probably like their... 20th. Yeah, 20th or some set. But this is right before they all broke up <laughs> because Big E is on SmackDown and Kofi and Xavier Woods are on Raw. Hey, Chad. Raw. You want to wrestle? No, give me that weird left Feel smirk. the power. You want to wrestle, Chad? He looks like he had a stroke. You act like you don't even like pancakes. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got I put on the Xavier Woods. The, he did a Rick James looking head. Oh, uh, I love Hairstyle that. for an episode. I love that they got all the What's tattoos on, on there too. Yeah, that I have no idea. But they're shame. Um, it's all shame. shame. That's shame. I just like like if you compare them to the Jax figures from like the early two thousands, like these face scans are so unreal. Oh, it's very interesting. I want to give you a hug. No, you don't. Come to Power me. of positivity. <laughs> Chad, here. Mark, you really like the. <laughs> <laughs> no, these guys are. Look at his gold shoes. Are those man. worth anything? Brandon, are those worth, worth anything? Just like the retail price. Worth it to him. Like how much? Uh, 25 bucks. Oh, okay. Those are spendy. Really? These are the elite. Yeah, they're spendy, huh? but they come with a lot of uh, accessories. 
Okay. Um, the next one is uh, I have this figure, but I needed it made on card because I needed wow, the chains because I lost the chains. Junkie. But this is a Hasbro Razor Ramon yellow card. You did not do that. Yep, I had to buy a second one. Would you pay for it? Uh, one forty. So wow. that's not bad. It would be over like between two and three hundred bucks if I bought it mint mint. If the oh, box was so the card was mint. Is your girlfriend still mad at you? No. No. Okay. No. She's got no. a crush on Razor Ramon. <laughs> yeah. She's a Scott Hall fan. Okay, I got you. That's so one. this isn't the one that comes with the toothpick, though, right? That's pretty slick, No, dude. that's the purple one, I think. That is really slick. That's, I'm glad you shared that. Yeah. All right, what else you got? Uh, we'll breeze through these uh, real quick. So you got a classic Stone yes. Cold. I, WCW. Before, before you was the Rattlesnake. Oh, look at you. Yeah, look at the yeah, hair. Yeah. I wonder if he really, really likes that one, huh? Yeah. I bet you he's I just, just need like to get a, a Brian Pillman head so I can get another one of these to make the Hollywood Blondes. Look at him. But, yeah, this, this was like... He's just a baby. Yeah, when he broke in, he had like a mullet, like longer I remember hair. That. Yeah. I remember that. Wasn't he down in Texas somewhere doing stuff? Yeah, I think he was in Dallas. He was in Dallas and Look then he went to Look at that comb over, though. Yeah. This was like oh. right before he shaved his head, <laughs> where he's like, I'm losing my hair. Shawn Michaels... Take note. Whoa. No, yeah. he shaved his head. I know he did, finally. Uh, and then this, I got this for my John Cena collection. I'm what is it? I'm only doing John Cena from his rap gimmick. So I can't see it. This was the Decade of Domination. That yeah, right? it's an empty awful. box. <laughs> that is awful, dude. He uh, comes with extra, he's coming with three hand, extra sets, or two extra sets of hands. But I mean, exactly. this guy is your 16-time world champion. Well, and the United can... States and a tag team. And you I know what Ric Flair he, would I say. I bet you he likes pancakes. That just means you lost 15 times. Ooh. <laughs> but so Ric Flair he, also lost 15 times. So. Uh, Ric Flair's a beast, though. Yeah. Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan just declared Ric, I mean, not that his opinion matters, but he said, hands down, Ric Flair is the greatest wrestler of all time, which I am kind of in agreement with. Yeah. This is uh, Naomi, uh, one of the female wrestlers, and this is the Chase version but I think I need another one because there's like the paint from the glow in the dark stuff got on her face. Oh. So will you be wearing this later? <laughs> yes. No, I'll be wearing the title belt because oh. it glows in the dark. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty Feel cool. Feel the glow. I remember Naomi. But yeah, like some of the glow in the dark stuff got on yeah, her face. Yeah, she do like That's all the, not very the splits politically and politically the... correct. And then this one, this is the last one. This is uh, the updated Bailey version. She's a hugger. Yeah, well, this is when she went, uh, she turned heel. She and turned then she evil. destroyed all of her inflatable men. And then didn't she hold the women's title for longer than any other woman in the WWE history? I think so. Didn't she slap Mark in the face once? She sure could. Wasn't that a con? <laughs> yeah, he was like, hey, baby. He's like, can I get your autograph? She's and like, she's I'm not like, hugging can I you. Can slap you first? Get that inflatable man away from me. I came in with four of them. Uh, a posse of them. Po- a posse of them. Look at I got these balloons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, oh it's gosh. the it's the first week of the new year, Mark. You know, we're still kind of locked down here. Do you do you see any foreseeable future of a swap? February, I'm hoping. February. We've so had we can... Valentine swaps for yes. like the last four years. Okay. I'm hoping February. If not, then we'll shoot for outdoors like in April. You can always go back to the Eagles. Yeah. Oh, I love it there. Yeah, it was that was perfect. That, it those, was. Are, those were, I feel like, somewhat more popular than the indoor. Well, ones. it was like a football field of outdoors. People yeah. like being outside yeah. and just like the whole vibe and the grill going. And I even talked to Ramiro from Logan's and he said he'd maybe even bring the food truck over Dude, there. shout out to Ramiro from Logan's because I'm telling you, man, I had it last night. I'm not even kidding you. I believe you. I had it a week ago. I'm I not even that. kidding you. And then a week before that, I I tried it for the first time, and I'm not. I mean, people that are, and I'm. I don't promote things that I I I don't get paid for any of this. It's just freaking good food. Fresh food, fast. fresh hamburgers, dude. You can get a single patty, a double patty, a triple pat, triple patty. Like a triple patty is like six bucks, yeah. seven bucks. I mean, the yeah. whole thing you can buy like under under fifteen bucks, you get like. Two or three meals, and or so one I just, meal for Chad. I try to, <laughs> yeah. Well, this is. I'll just tell you, then you, then we'll peace out. But I literally had like last night. I always over order because I try and support. Yeah. But I got oh, it's chicken tenders, dude. Your chicken tenders are amazing. And chicken is amazing, and they're there. this big. So you, I got one double order, which is like six bucks of the chicken tenders, which is literally like a chicken and a, a breast and a half of chicken, 
and it's amazing. And yeah. then I ordered two triple cheeseburgers. Yeah, the best thing though too about the chicken is not like it's not 90 percent breading, ten percent no, chicken. No, no, it's perfect. It's and chicken. their sauces, their their the their Logan sauce. Logan sauce is dope. Yeah. So all right, with the that chicken sandwich, it's amazing. I didn't try. I gotta try that. Yeah. All right, there's a blatant promoting promotion yeah. for feed us next time. See you guys. <laughs> Peace Give us out. Food. <laughs> yeah.